Hey guys, I am Nukesh Kapoor and you are watching Droid Crunch and in this video, we are going to talk about how you can put an image on the top of an image that is mockup. So you can scroll the image that is on the top of the mockup and you can present it like uh, in your portfolio pages or something like that. So without wasting any time, let's get into detail as to how you can achieve this. So first of all, I have this one right here. So this is how it will look after you create it. So I'm gonna click delete this one as of now. I'm using Flexbox container layout for this purpose. You can enable Flexbox container in your Elementor settings and then uh, experiments, okay? And then you can click on the Flexbox, make it active and you will be able to see these kind of containers and this basic container widget. So I'm gonna use this one for now. So this is my container, okay, this one. I will use Control I to see all my navigations. Okay, so this is my main container. I can name it main container. Okay, and now I will have a couple of more containers inside of my container. Okay, let's give it some margin. I will give it 10 and padding as well. 10. Okay, margin I can probably delete. I can few add few more containers. By duplicating them I can make this to be a row layout okay so now I have three contents like this side by side and we will be uh, implementing all these changes in this container this middle one so I can name it like working container okay so you get to know that I am working on this one only right and I will be having two containers inside of this container one container this one and I will be having the image of my mockup. So this is mockup container. Okay. And one more container for the image that will be on the top of it. Okay. So main container and sibling elements or containers inside this working container. Okay. So you need to understand this structure very well. Otherwise, you may have some issues working with this. Okay, so this is the mockup and this is the, I can say, slide image. Okay. Now, what I need to do, I just need to have an image in this container. Okay. And I have downloaded this image from Google. Okay, you can download it from anywhere. And this is an transparent image of iMac. Okay, which will hold the image or the image of this one would be top of it okay so now we have the image in this container I will not uh, put any image inside of it but I will go to style tab I will go to classic add an image here and this is my full screen sh screenshot of my website you can download the screenshot I'm using awesome screenshot and here I have this option to take a full page capture screenshot of any website okay you can use any other plugin as well there are many plugins out there in the google chrome extensions library you can download any of this and download the full screen image and then i'm just going to use it okay so currently it looks like this okay so we need to just fix it right now what i'm going to do is just top top uh, center okay I'll make it top center attachment to be scroll repeat to be no repeat size to cover okay so for now it is just fine okay but there is no item so height will can create issues so i will just use a spacer widget inside of it okay so i don't get any issues later on i just make it like this let me see if anything there okay so now i can just drop it here here okay so in this slide image now i have a spacer widget as well okay with this spacing right now let us just we have to move this image on the top of it right so just click on it go to advanced and here on the position just change it to absolute so when you make it absolute it will just leave the dom structure like basic uh, one by one elements okay so it will leave from the relative 
to it will go absolute so when it is absolute it is relative to its main container right if it, it will follow the top and left or bottom right positions from its main container so main container right now is this one right so it will follow adjustments from here so right now on this image i will just adjust it to be inside this okay so for now its width is total of it so we will need to fix the width as well apart from its positions okay so let us go to this absolute and uh, horizontal orientations and let's move it around horizontally and make sure that you click on first this uh, percentage icon and then you move it okay looks good and here too uh, from top looks good here and now it is going outside of the iMac so what I need to do just go to layout okay and make it full width first and then click on this percentage icon and lower it down right so looks good now okay and now go to space widget make it zero okay and now go to slide image go to advanced and click on padding and increase it right you can also try to do this as well okay now it looks pretty good okay here it looks fine okay now we have an image on the top of the iMac in our design so now we have to have the scroll effect right so the slide image itself just this is the container so make sure that you are on the content itself and on the style we had an image in the background so when you hold on it it will scroll so make sure you have this scroll option selected and then go to hover and click on this background type image classic and then select the image the same image we're gonna select here and now you can see that uh, it is the same but now we need to change its position to bottom center there it was top center when you hover it goes bottom center but the timing it takes is like 0.3 seconds so if you increase it it will give you more better animation okay so like this and if you make it two it will be like this right and now it is quite amazing isn't it so this is how it is going to look so this was all for today's video if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up if you have any questions you can go ahead in the comment section and i'll be there replying to you and you can also join our groups on facebook about elementor uh, ecf and some advanced stuff and we can stay connected there and yeah so thanks for watching it have a wonderful day bye bye see you next video